Okay, with the DJI Air 2S coming out yesterday, there were a lot of questions about its compatibility with the smart controller, which I did not address except for uh, some text on screen in my video. I'm here to tell you that currently I'm downloading the latest firmware for the smart controller, and um, it says right there, you may not be able to read it, but it says added support for the DJI Air 2S. DJI Air 2S can now be added and managed under aircraft management. And it says the same thing for the Mavic 2 Enterprise. I know some people have had some issues updating the smart controller via Wi-Fi, and that's partly why I'm up here at my office doing it, because we have a better Wi-Fi and faster connection here. But I'm going to see if it actually works this time over Wi-Fi. If not, I'll take it into um, DJI Assistant and see if I need to do that, but hopefully I won't. took about 10 minutes, 12 minutes or so, and it downloaded everything. Um, I thought it was hung up for a minute on 16%. It sat there for a while, but it finished downloading, and now it says it is installing the updates. So hopefully, um, you can see the progress bar is about you know, a little less than halfway done. So hopefully this will be done in the next few minutes. Um, I'd say all in all, it's taken about 15 minutes so far. Now you can see a list of all the aircraft that the smart controller supports. Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced, Phantom 4 Pro V2, Mavic 2 Enterprise Dual, Mavic 2 Enterprise, Mavic 2 Zoom, Mavic 2 Pro, Mavic 2 Air, and, Ma and DJI Air 2S. Okay, and now you can see it says DJI Air 2S, apply. Now it's got to do a little bit more, it looks like, initializing resource data. Now it's saying a firmware update is required. 181 megabytes. Okay, we got the check mark saying firmware installed and the lights on the Air 2S turned green. So we'll hit, I assume we can just close out of this and hit go fly. Side with an ND filter on, so I'm wondering if that's why it's. Yeah, there we go. Now we're seeing stuff. Let's see, took the camera down, took the camera up. Yeah. Looks like it's ready to go. So in all, that took about 30 minutes for it to do all its thing. It was pretty straightforward the whole time. You just had to follow the prompts. There was one time when it seemed to kind of um, get stuck at 16%, but then I walked away and came back and five minutes later it was through with that process. So uh, do the update on here. Make sure both this smart controller and the drone have a full battery. And within 30 minutes, should be flying.